This dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. Help me find him, and you'll find out. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, now I know what to ask for. Perfect! I knew you would understand. Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. <sighs> My engine... It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. <sighs> we need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. Well, I imagine it's lights out, Big K. And then it'll be just you, your parasite, and the wild yonder. I'm sure you'd manage. But this old girl's got a few things to do before it comes to that. The voice of the Absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. Not everyone would have helped. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. There you are. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Carlick to... Touch people! 
Exactly. Oh my God. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing. Hang on. I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus. For good. This thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that'll let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Do it. Please. Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. There. So did it... work? Only one way to find out. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours, it's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but at this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. You read my mind. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows. How's the barricade coming along? This is the best day. The best day! I'm so happy for me, too. Now, I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. 
then again, maybe it was just an old eye. of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can, but if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam, we were all like, whoa! How'd you learn to fight like that? Had to. Life didn't put any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case... Want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha! Ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. It is, isn't it? Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Premium tr Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Mole gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. This is a <clears throat> valuable piece, so it's going to cost a lot. And that is non non The price isn't changing. Better hurry. I've got loads of interested parties. Last Light's best bargains right here. What can I get you? Pleasure doing business with you. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stop. Premium tr 
I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Ketherick is a frightening man, but you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Isabel? Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. The man's mind burns with empty ecstasy, utterly enslaved by the Absolute. You can sense nothing else. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. 
Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Excellent fertilizer.
so much for peace. Find a route. Knight to King Five. I wonder if this is worth the cost.
Come on, Karlak. Show him who you are. <laughs> It might be useful. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kederik will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, Everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this.
copper for your thoughts? Like I got something back. Something I've wanted for a really long time. When I touched you, I felt like... a real person. My heart was racing. But I didn't hurt you. I don't have to be afraid of myself anymore. I don't have to hold back. <laughs> Not sure the world's ready for unleashed Karlak, but it's getting it anyway. Thanks to Damon. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks to fate. Touch! Touch everything! Touch everyone that'll let me. Shake hands, dance a waltz, maybe even kiss a face or two if I find a good candidate. The world's my fun house. Me too, soldier. Gods, me too. For every knock we take, I feel like I get a little treat just to keep me going. Ugh, I don't want to think about that now. Misery always overstays its welcome, and joy leaves too soon. I'll cry later, but not now. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Twice over, in fact. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother... Forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The mother superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate, Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion, a distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come.
times over, pet. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. Ahem. Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? A doubtful Will catches his breath, but says nothing, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Again. Clause said, Section 13, the Lemur Clause. Could have sworn we covered this. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially hungry. You know, I feel a connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. Just that you have a big heart. You like doing what's right. 
So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads? Gods! I've tried to think outside the box just a little. Consider the parasites in our skulls and think how many others have the Mind Flayers infected. Hundreds. Thousands. And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the Worm's Thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. That's just the thing. If we control the parasites, then we can order them not to change us. All the power with none of the tentacles. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. Do. It's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the Hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the Blade stands for. Such an asshole. The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the Infernal, the Demonic, and the Heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the Blood War. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? Look, Will's happiness is my happiness. I'd sooner see myself a lemia than him. But it's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You never win. Not ever.
Mm, what a vicious looking creature. I swear its eyes are following me. Mm, what a vicious looking creature. I swear its eyes are following me. Do the same for any of us. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at him. He's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you gotta understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. Mole can be cranky and mean, but she looks after us. So stock up, all right? Because you need all the help you can get to bring her home. You got the coin this time. Yes! That's my first negotiation. Here. Pleasure doing business with you. Traitors among us. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap, and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. Then speak. Ugh. Some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods. ...or laying with them, depending on the bard. You'll have to sing that one for me when all of this is done. In any case, it was a lifetime ago by now. And for all our victories, we remain on the back foot. We fight, we die... ...and we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. <laughs> No need of that. Every harper is a bard unto themselves, I'm afraid. Help me root out this cult. And they can spin stories about you for a change. First cultists nearly murder us, and now we have a traitor on the inside. Can't we trust anyone? Stars... ...you hadn't heard. We were ambushed, out in the darkness, by cultists. We surrendered, but that wasn't enough for them. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids, telling them it was going to be all right. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first, then his tongue. Roland, of all people, saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. And I'm damn glad of it. Without him... Well, none of us would be here. Can you blame him? His brother and sister are gone. He's... dealing with it as best he can. We all are. How do you do it? How do you keep going? You make it sound so easy. 
But I'll try. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. Thaniel and me are climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We... we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. A century locked inside a Shah and Curse will do things to a man. But you're not alone, sir. We're here with you. And I'm sure you've got relations, maybe some long-lived friends even, who want to be seeing you. No, not till I met Art, anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Thank you. Seems to be some kind of document that protrudes from this gentleman's pantaloons. Climb, climb, climbing up the tree. I don't even know if he'll ever recover. We see what we see and do just so what the plan is to do nothing. Please Let the duty go right in prison while boulders get burnt. For the sun forever we see. Shadows, they get darker, but Any help from Jahira? Hiding place is brighter. But she doesn't care if the Grand Duke lives or dies. I wouldn't go that far. But her focus is on stopping the cult, and I suspect she'd sacrifice mm -hmm. anyone to achieve that. Mm -hmm. Jayla's doing her best. She shows no signs of waking. Just what we the Boulder's Gate can't. Waiting for the sun forever. Monster snuffling and stalking. Don't even know if he'll ever recover. In the 
shade where we are walking. So the plan is to do nothing. Let the Duke rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns. Far from it. We need a way into the towers. I intend to find one. We what I won't do is send any more of our people into the towers. Any help from you here? She wants the same thing we do. When I give the word, and not a moment sooner. You mean to reach Moonrise? And I have orders to help you. The path to the towers is drenched in blackness so deep, even a torch cannot quell it. Yet, the cultists have found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. A cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. My feet are planted deep till you return, but don't tarry. The greater the opportunity, the shorter its visit. Our asses. Plans changed. 